Hi teammates, say hi to Jeremy, aka Hydro. He's a good guy. So I wanted to go over the owl, like um, hooters, you know, like hooters. Basically, um, the owl is a it's it's a representation of Dan and from Watchmen the film and. Dan basically, you know, gets a deal at the end and gets, gets to not, uh, toil on earth, basically, you know, not, he doesn't go to the garden. He, he gets a Titanic free pass, like the beginning of, uh, Titanic, the film with Leonardo DiCaprio as that character kind of. But, um, so the who turns is kind of the Darth Ovali. Because they, they get the G and then they, they leave, you know, they don't, they don't stick around for all that mess that happened after the garden. So, and they narrowly escape, you know, the forces that were working against them. And when to go over, um, we got a watch date. Um, today is the fourth day of the nine days, um, since those, those seven acts judges. Well, those turned out to be Pichagru, who is, uh, Oliver Reed and, uh, one of the Lamb's wives or, you know, husband. It's all reversed. So, but it reads as one of the Lamb's wives. And, um, he got gathered or, or whatnot on the 16th night, which was early 17. And, uh, the fourth, that would be, um, tonight would be the fourth. And, um, so, you know, it could be five months. It could be five years. It could be, uh, it could be three weeks, you know, um, with the Phoenix representing the Joe Pesci character with the high voice. It could be, it could be a lot of things. So we'll just see what happens or it could just be five days, but, um, just keep watch is all I'm saying. I wanted to go over that watch date. And to reassure your faith, you know, I'm not just talking just to talk. I want to reassure your faith and the things that I know I want to share with you because I don't want to keep it all in and be like, oh, well, I know, but, you know, so I can have faith on that, but no one else knows, you know, I want you to know. So, and sometimes the watchmen, like they'll have a little piece, but they won't have the full picture. You know, and that's, that's the ram working against them sort of thing. And I, I'm full ram, you know, born on the 21st of March. So I probably do that the most and don't even realize it. But, um, okay. So I got this here. Um, Hennetawe C is who we're looking at. I believe she's 21st dynasty Egypt. And I broke down her hieroglyph there. It's a, a small rectangle at the bottom. And what you get is, um, now I'm not, I'm not saying that I was her or that someone else was her. I'm saying that her name is the symbolism here. So we're not flip flopping the woman to men or whatever, but, um, some people are like that, you know, and, uh, God bless everybody that's with Jesus. So, um, and that's all I see. Now this guy, there's a lot you can do with him, okay? But um, you know, and this this could be for sure, so we'll go with this. But um first as a Santa Claus for star seeds all throughout the galaxy, he had like a ship, like a garbage truck, and had gold in it, and would give the gifts out to the star seeds all throughout the galaxy and you know, other galaxies far away, like Star Wars, and he was like a, um, um, a Santa Claus for them, or, or a garbage man, kind of like a Capri, but not really, and then because he had no 